Lynette Frome came very close to assassinating President Gerald Ford at the state capitol. Then she thrust a hand through the crowd, a hand holding a loaded 45 caliber pistol. KCRE reporter Steve Swat was on the scene in 1975. In that gun there were four cartridges, uh, but there was none in the chamber. So when she pointed the gun point blank at the president and pulled the trigger, it just went click. There was no bullet in it? There was no bullet in it. And she said it didn't go off. It didn't go off. Frome was convicted of attempted assassination on the president. A 32nd of an inch was the difference between life and death for President Ford. Don Heller prosecuted Frome along with another lawyer. They didn't know Frome had snuck a weapon into court. It was during closing arguments. Somehow she had smuggled an apple in her red robe. Frome took aim at Heller's partner. He said this woman is capable of violence at any minute. And at that point, she threw her apple and hit him in the side of the head. Heller says Frome, a disciple of Charles Manson, also threatened the judge before he sentenced her to more than 30 years in prison. KCRA reporter Mike Boyd interviewed a defiant Charles Manson in prison in 1980. The Charlie Manson that you created, that's not me. <laughs> That's only an illusion in your minds. It hasn't got anything to do with me. What's the real Charlie Manson? I haven't really been able to make him up. See, I've just been reborn again.